Righto, we're into collision. Um, this is the, the tricky part of going, okay, the enemy's moving, the player's moving, who hits what, who talks to what. So basically, you probably want to say to the enemy, have you hit the player? So I'm going to say in here, if we just, because uh, the enemy's going down, it's easy to track the Y pause. So if I go enemy Y pause, right? So let's have a let's have a look. Oh, sorry, this is gonna be left out. I need to comment this out. Oh, okay, it's, oh, so it's running. It's running. All right. So what I want to say is, go into my console, and um, if my player, my enemy, its front edge is further than let's let's slow this down. Let's slow this down. All right. So maximum of four, minimum of two. Two, uh, my enemy size is up here, so player size we're going to make 30, enemy size is going to be 40, oh, and then if I just comment this out so it doesn't break it, right, so what I know is if this collision here where they cross over, is where the issue is just when that front edge hits that. Now this is my top of my Y, but for my for my player, the bottom edge is the player Y pos plus the height because it draws from that corner. Same with the enemy draws from its top left corner. So let's uncomment this and say if the enemy X pos plus the enemy sorry enemy with a capital enemy size. So it's counting for its height is greater than the player's y pos. Then I'm just going to say console.log hit. So now as I run this, I get hit. See? Hit. But if I back up in front of it, hit. And then as soon as it's back up the top, see it's not, not, not hitting, not, not hitting, not hitting. Um, but if I go through it and then back out, you can see the hit kind of comes on and off in here. So that's working, but it's obviously working as soon as this, it's, this bottom edge of it is in front of this line anywhere and all the way down. So we want to cut it to this top edge. This bottom edge of this is in front of there, and the top edge of that is overlapping with the bottom edge of this here. So to do that, We'll say and enemy y pos is higher up the page, so less than because top zero, um, less than player y pos plus player size. So now when we refresh this, we should only get the hit occurring when they overlap and it stops by itself. See, overlap, stop. You watch it comes through here. Obviously, doesn't matter where it is, it'll still do it. Right, so then what we want to do is we also want to focus on our left and right. So, and again. Ah, sorry. Start with the enemy. Enemy X pause. So if we're going to take the right hand side of the enemy, right? That's going to be enemy X pause plus the width going across that way. So it's the X pos plus the width to get to this side, and we're saying that side is greater than just the normal side here. So enemy X pos plus enemy size is greater than because it's going towards the right, which is canvas.width end um, player X pos. Now, what we should be able to do is get a hit that overlaps in this shape, so it's basically right there. If I want to get a perfect hit box for it. It'd be like parking it there. Okay. Hit, hit. But obviously it accounts for all the way over here. But if I put mine on the left of it, oh, it shouldn't be counting. Oh, have I refreshed? Yeah, no, I hadn't. Yeah, so um, it hits on that side, but it shouldn't hit on this side. You watch. Yep. And if I drive into it, yeah, the hits, are, the hits will stack up, hit stack up, 
no hits get some hits okay so there you go so that's working as intended where am i gone i'm further down there we are sorry i got lost um to the last is to obviously account for this edge of the player touching this side of the box which is the player x pos plus its width and saying that it's closer towards zero so less than the player uh the enemy y so uh x pos sorry um enemy x pos is less than player x pos plus player size console log hit right rather than doing console log hit i'm going to say player x pos equals um, zero and player y pos equals canvas dot height minus player size so that way it's actually in the screen so effectively now when I run it no, if I can dodge it fine but as soon as I hit it don't it jumps to the bottom left corner and as I just touch it so there you go, a little bit of contact there. Yeah, so this would be like if I had a variable called, I don't know, um, score equals zero, and I'm, I'm wanting to hit them because I'm it's collecting good things, I don't know. Uh, Right, okay, so, sorry, that went quite fast. So all I'm doing is I'm increasing the score by one, that's what that is, and then I'm just doing console log that's spitting out the word score with the actual score variable that's ticking up by one each time it occurs. Um, so as we go in here, we should see get console log score one, two, four, get the idea. Okay, so that's, that's all working quite successfully. I don't actually need those. Um, but that gives you the idea that we've got the, ah, I'll leave it in there actually, um, that it's working on the instance that we want, the collision's actually detecting, it's all working successfully um, in all our instances. So this is great. Eventually what we want to do is take this one enemy and make it multiple. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the, uh, the hope and the dream.